I got the traditional drip, pretty strong. Unicorn's got her coconut coffee and she's going in there hard. This is traditional. This is the way it's supposed to be. number 39 at the Hong An Hotel. I think this is revisited day three. We like it here so much. We stayed. I think you're all aware of that. The breakfast is really good. The people are really good. Day 14 on the 25th. We're about to bounce. Head over to our favorite coffee shop to then prepare. We just spent the last two hours stressing out over Ninh Ben Hotels. Let me get one last view. And hotels and excursions. We don't know if we should get a tour or not. And we have a lot of planning to do yet on the fly. Living out of a backpack and not really wanting to plan ahead has its ups and downs. And one of the downs is sometimes you might miss stuff because you didn't plan ahead and things get packed. But I'm pretty sure we can do things without tour guides. Like Bana Hills with a tour guide would have been a drain. So let's figure out what we got to do. We're about to go down. This is it. It's been a great hotel at Hung An. We spent three nights here. Again, lovely place. All the drains drained. Breakfast got better as the time goes. Last beautiful view. I'm gonna miss Da Nang. So I'm gonna go ahead to the coffee shop right now. Unicorn, AKA Bag Lady, toting around our flip goods. Cause the hustle's real. Hung in, it was real. I'm gonna miss you, Hung In Hotel. You know, I can get emotional. I get like that. It was a really good stay. And you know, Unicorn and me, and myself, we don't like to stay at one place too long, but this was the prime location with the prime service and of course the prime location next to that beautiful beach. But right now, we're gonna go find the coffee place that we love so much. Yep, it's our last, last, last day. So, some coffee's on its way, right? Some planning, and we'll finish out our planning at that coffee shop. We're kind of going backwards, that's how much we like this coffee place. We're actually going backwards away from the hotel from our hour long walk next to the train station at night so we can leave at night. I don't know if we're going backwards from it. Well, either or. You know that it's not. It's like a five minute walk. It's so. like a five minute walk, but again, the reason why we're doing this is because we really like the coffee shop, but we have to plan. Yeah, we're we have to plan our hotel and yet. Sit in the air and enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, we have to plan our hotel. We have to plan our hotel up north and also the excursion, so we're pretty far behind heading to Ninh Ben. I'm gonna get flat by this bus here. The bus is basically telling us, no, not you, right? So, once we get our planning done, we'll have to plan what we're gonna do after that, and again, that's not something that Unicorn and myself like to do, which is plan. That's really not who we are as people right now. We just kind of like to go with the flow, and again, that has its ups and downs when you just go with the flow. But, uh, you know, it's funny because as long as you've got ducats, everything will work out in terms of taxis, excursions, tours. As long as you've got the money, there's always a way. So just make sure you've got that stashed away. And of course, the exchange right here is in our favor. So, uh, I'm gonna miss Da Nang. I'm already feeling it. You gonna miss it? Yeah. Da Nang was one of our faves, man. I don't know how many nights we spent here. Three nights? Well, three nights at this hotel. So we spent how many we nights? We also had a night. We had a night in Hoi An, which is very close to here. Then we had a night by the Dragon Bridge. And then we had three nights here. Did we stay anywhere else? No. I don't know, we're forgetting the days. I feel days. like I, there is one I'm missing. I feel like it was six nights, but I can count five if you include my aunt. Five or six nights total in this area. Five or six nights in including this area, and that's including Hoi An. So you're including Hoi An into that. So yeah, we have to look back, but we spent a good amount of time in Central. Again, when we first planned this trip, we have to go what, left? Right? Yeah. Yeah, we have to go left. 
When we first planned this trip, we planned actually three and a half weeks in just Da Nang itself before we were like, hey, let's just try to do the coast. But it's the official new year today, which is the 25th. And everyone's just kind of taking it easy. And uh, we're not. We're not. Look at these beautiful balloons here. Oh, wow. That is beautiful in there. Beautiful. Everyone's going and celebrating. Everything is open again, right? Wow. I feel like we're a little underdressed. You feel a little underdressed? Well, I almost wore my flower shirt. <laughs> but it'd be really hot to walk in. Yeah, I mean, today's a day where people are out and... I wore my... I, I dressed nice for breakfast. Yes, you did. You looked very, very good for breakfast. But yeah, people are out in New Year and with their customs. I'm wearing, and I'm wearing my braces from your mom. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah, you are. Very pretty. So you're <laughs> just part of the uh, celeb celebratory traditions. All right, I'm going to cut the vid. We're going to head on to the coffee station. I'm probably real shake. I was watching some old videos. I'm like real shaky in a lot of it. Probably gonna have to do a lot of editing. But it's hard to try to capture everything and enjoy yourself. And I'm learning the hard way on this vlog and some of the pictures I've taken switching lenses. And this trip has taught me a lot about camera footage and photography and spending time with Emily and David. Have, you know, asking them their tips and tricks on photography and photo editing and it's a lot to bring in because it's just an art form all of it subject matter aperture video b-roll a-roll photography you know like like really really maybe he just wanted to get on my film but uh sometimes people love the camera man see it and they just want to get on it <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna cut the film until we get to the coffee shop one thing I want to add here before we get to the coffee shop one thing additional I want to add is on this new year day things are a lot more tame they don't things are a lot more tame and quiet on this day because people have off still the streets are tame the motorbikes are at rest as soon as they say that, there's a big beep. But hello, there's a big beep. And, uh, you know, stores are opening back up slowly, it seems like, but for the most part, it's just a day for everyone to relax. And here's the long man. So we gotta take a right long man. Nice, pretty Vietnamese lady in there taking selfies of herself. Doesn't matter where you're from or what culture it is, but everyone's all up and looking at their phone and given that whole IG look. But we're getting back to our coffee house here. I could be up I lay head. Everyone's dressed up in their garb, all beautiful. So we stop back at Ruya Coffee just for round two before we hit our hotel. And then we have to get ready for Ninvin. Again, we're at Roya Coffee out here in Da Nang, our favorite place so far to date. And this is number 40. The unicorn got coconut coffee again. And I'm going to try the Cafe Sodao. It looks a lot different. Look at that. Look at the layers. Look how beautiful. Honestly, look at that. We haven't gotten some. the top layer, even the foam is yeah. shaking it. I saw it. It hasn't been as refined. Shake and not stirred. Yeah, shake and not stirred. Yeah. Beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Clearly the place is refined, very clean, designed. I think they're trying to get to a certain market here. The place across the street looks kind of, all these places are looking kind of a little bit upper class in terms of socioeconomic status. And it's changing the neighborhood. I just want to be able to remember it here. Again. I'm gonna take down coffee number 40. I'll tell you how it is. 
We just ordered what? Wow, we didn't get the menu. I think this is real. Paradise. Is it? Yeah. Wow. I think he did. Is it? Yeah. He gave us 10,000. Wow, did he? He's not like giving it back to them. He gives it to him. <laughs> no, it's for New Year. You don't give it back. It's beautiful. And they're brand new, crisp. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to come back and tell you what we ordered. So we ordered a watermelon bingsu and also a paradise. Oh, oh. Zoom. Paradise yogurt smoothie. We're going to come back when it comes to our table. We got the paradise smoothie. It's really, really done really well. Love it. Love it. Paradise smoothie. All right, watermelon bingsu. Watermelon bingsu. Watermelon bing su. Look at that. Beautiful. And then, do you want me to kind of show the texture of the bing su in there? Sure. Go for it. Take the first stab. I just kind of want to show you guys here. Oh, yeah. She's going to show you, all right. Can I take a bite? It's like... Take a bite. See that? Yeah. Take a bite. Yeah. Huh? And this is the whole place again. This is why we love it here so much. Ooh. Ooh, I have a nice plant here too. I just bumped into it. That's what I bumped into right there. I'm gonna eat. I'll be back. So Unicorn was just saying how we were very fortunate to find that coffee shop because they're open on Tet. And, and it gave us a place to really plan. The traffic is just kind of on our way to the hotel. Where are we staying? Delhi style? Delhi stay. Delhi stay? But yeah, we're very fortunate to find a coffee shop to be able to be open on a day like today. The streets are just kind of empty, which is making for a very enjoyable walk. I, I can't really walk with the camera because I still got my 35 millimeter lens up. For whatever reason, the stability control, it's just it just sucks. So just want to let you guys know that this walk is very, very enjoyable. There's no traffic. There's no one in the middle of the streets. What, a, what an enjoyable walk. All right, we're at Kai Cafe. And we are at that one little weird hostel right there that we stay. Is that it? Is that it? Oh boy. All right. Wow, there's gates. So we got in Delhi stay. We got lucky other people were leaving, but we're kind of inside the lobby area, but there's nobody here and we're not checked in. So now we're in the lobby area. There's a lock there. We know the combination we saw, but we're not technically checked in. So don't know what we're gonna do yet. Train leaves at three in the morning and it is 2.53, so pretty much another 12 hours we gotta figure something out. And Unicorn is trying to find the Wi-Fi password. So, we found the Wi-Fi password. We also found, maybe get out here, we found room one. As you can see there's no one at check-in. No one's in the check-in, but we're in room one. Hey. Hold on here, let me take video. And then here, no one's here, so we took the key out. Yeah. So here, let me let me finish this video of the room that we claimed as ours. 
because there was no one check in. So we said, hey, nice room. And we'll get to the side in a bit. Look, it's got a little window. This just looks like the picture where she's got the shower, old school, like hostel style, toilet, shower, same thing. Nice sink though. And there's two sinks on the outside. I'll have to give you a tour of this. What's this place called again? Delhi State. Delhi State in the middle of Da Nang by the train station. And let me walk over here. This is the public shower. If you do not have a room with a public shower or a sink. But oddly enough, if you don't close the window, you can kind of see it there. Enjoy your stay. There's the exit back door. Kind of sketch. It's all good. Good reviews on Agoda though. And I think Unicorn finished this sign. And it said, Deli Stay. Password, contact, check in, check out, payment. If your booking has not been paid, please, pay, please pay by cash. Leave the money in room. Bank transfer, please contact the manager for information. So, pretty much. Maybe we just leave the cash. I think it was $9.70 USD. Right? 225 Let me see what that is. Let me see what that is. Boom. Yeah, $225. i will just have to leave it there. In any case, Reynolds Unicorn, hostel style. Didn't pay yet. Hopefully no one comes pissed off. I'll leave the money when I when I leave, I promise. Again, today's tat, January 25, day 14 of 30 of our 30 days in Vietnam. We're gonna stop at um, some Baka. One of the few places that were open. Actually, I shouldn't say that. There's like five or six establishments that were open. Cool little dog, unicorns in there, sitting down. And I'm gonna go enjoy some. Baka. I always have a trouble. Here it is. That's her specialty. Is beef steak soup right there. We haven't had it yet. It's really good. Cute little doggy. Cute little doggy. And uh, we're gonna go up here and enjoy this meal. The street. And we've got some vegetables. I'll resume in a bit. We got our baka with bun mi. Wow, this is gonna be good. 40 G. The bread's hot. This looks good. This is authentic. Off the streets of Da Nang, very close to train station. Good. It's so hot. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, I might take one good picture. Just to let you guys know, when I brought the Ben Me up, it was still so very hot and warm and tasty. I normally would normally wouldn't do this, but this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Oh, it's good. It's good. We're uh, about to try Coffee 41 at the Kai Cafe. This is right outside of our hotel. It's a nice place. It's pretty big. Kai Cafe. It's pretty big. A lot of people here. Wow. The shake is real. We're at Kai Cafe. Right outside of our hotel. Let me try to do this again. The shake is real. Ooh, the plants are real. Beautiful. I'm not taking it away. Huh? So beautiful that tree. There it is. Kai Cafe. There's the city stream. Okay. I'm just trying not to take people, even though I'm not going to be using audio. And then our place is right down that alleyway. Oh, that beautiful sign, right? Oh, and there's our sign right there where we're staying. All right, this is 41. I got the traditional one where the drip, 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 which is, this is the real, we're getting into the real stuff here. I think we're in a better district for food. How about it? Should have been here all week. 
versus the beach. There's 41 for me. And then we'd be here all with you, so we should have been at the beach. Yeah. Right, we should. I, I like the name. I like a lot of it. <laughs> so, number of coffee number 41 at Kai Cafe. I'll take a picture of it once uh, Unicorn's coconut coffee comes out. But I'm gonna give this thing a try. Part of the Coffee 41 experience, I got the traditional drip, pretty strong. Unicorn's got her coconut coffee and she's going in there hard. This is traditional. This is the way it's supposed to be. good. <laughs> Alright, well you know how it is in our ratings. This is 41, Kai Cafe Dene. Again, as a reminder, Kai Cafe. Hey. 11.30 p.m. local time. We're about to head to the train station for 3 o'clock. And uh, still New Year's Day. 25. Day 14, you know, corn is packing up. Oh, it's an alright place to stay. You got skeeters though coming in, some of these cracks. But that's what you kind of get for, I don't know, $9 USD. But, uh, looks like we're about to head to that train station 13 minutes away. And hopefully we can uh, work through the translation and get on the train. It's certainly going to be a, a challenge moving northbound with dialects and yours truly. But people can do it without knowing the language. You should do it with no impartial language. Can't speak tired. We're crawling the streets of Danang, getting to the bus station. It's going to be hitting midnight soon, if it's not midnight already. What time is it? It's now the 26th. So this is how we kick off. This is how we kick off day 15 of our 30 days in Vietnam. Officially midnight. Headed to the train station. So I'm gonna put this away so we can get there safely. And hopefully we can find it.